first ride out with the new Mazda tire. Woo! So I'm going to be setting up these new Mazas on a set of Noble Carbon's TR38 traditional rims. Um, tuba setup, setup is usually a breeze with these wheels. You can see they do such an awesome job taping them. Just about get the tire on there. I don't think I really need levers. They seem to go on pretty well. No, nope, no levers needed. Get them right on there. No sealant, but see how they set up tubeless. I always use my air compressor just because I got it and it's easy. Boom, boom. Easy as pie with Noble and Vittoria. And I'm using the Pit Stop TNT Evo Off-Road Vittoria sealant, which comes nice with this little pointy tip that you can basically just put in and squeeze. Whoop. Just like that. So, there's the other tire in the background, already mounted. Here's the other one. Oop, 986. One gram off. I didn't I was managed to get it on there without the tire at this time. That's pretty consistent. One gram. Alright, so this one's a little bit different because it's the rear. I got the Victoria Airliner in there, which I've already pre-cut and everything else, but we'll go over that another time. Um, but yeah, I'm just this one's gonna be a little bit different. You just gotta work the bead in here slowly around and then use the uh basically the tip of your lever to just to push the bead in for the final little uh distance. Just push it right in there to get it in the center. not bad to, after you've done it a couple times. It does take some getting used to. It's basically like having a pool noodle in your stinking tire. But no flats and no pinch flats is key for racing. All right, this time with the airliner. Let's see. Woo! Not bad. Trail is so rad. So, first ride out with the new Mazda tire. Woo! Pretty good. Lots of grip. Very impressed with it so far. Corner's good, brake's good. Definitely notice it's got a little bit more bite than the Martello. For like. Whew. Those soft corners, you know what I mean? Trail gets up here. Woo! This gives ooh the breaker tra braking traction. Woo! Good to steeps. 
it's getting along so far. So far, I haven't found anything this car doesn't like. Yo! used to the control of this tire it just bites really well and I can tell it's probably gonna be my new go-to tire back out in the shop um, just looking at the uh, Mazda tire review just wanted to give a couple more final thoughts on it um, I've been riding it now since that you know video of the uh, flow trail and stuff like that been riding on every type of terrain now, rock, hard pack, loose over hard. Um, I have to say I'm really impressed. Um, I don't think I'll probably go back. Um, I'll probably stick with this tire from now on for being my enduro race tire. Uh, I think it's, you know, from what Victoria has put out in the recent years, I think this is a home run. It's, uh, it's everything I want in an enduro tire. It's got a little bit more bite in the rear end than the Martello had. Um, so the Martello, you kind of, you, you expected it to break loose and it was predictable. Um, this one pretty much just grabs. It grabs through the corners, holds the line really well. Because um, you've got those side knobs that are, you know, split and sight. Every other one is split and then uh, they're all sight. So you get unbelievable traction. Um, yeah, I am supported by Vittoria. So with that said, you know, take it as you will. But... I have ridden all the tires. I've ridden, um, you know, I've ridden all kinds of tires from Maxxis to Continental to Schwalbe. I've tried them all. I've been there, done that. Um, I've run, you know, my favorite combo was a main DHF DHR combo for a long time. Um, I just find that, you know, with these tires, I have durability. I don't have to worry in the back of my mind, you know, do I carry, you know, obviously I carry a tube for emergencies, but, you know, is it, one of those things where I'm in the middle of an enduro race, because this has happened to me in a long, a lot of situations. You know, I'm in the middle of an enduro race and, you know, I'm worried, you know, oh, I got to go easy on that section because, you know, if I really plow through it, you know, there's a chance I may lose the stage from having to change a tire, um, get it flat. Um, with the Victoria's, it's, it's been a long time um, since I've really <laughs> worried about that. Um, I put caution into the wind and I usually just send it through some of the gnarliest terrain and as long as my pressure's up, um, I usually don't worry about it. Um, so take that as you will. Um, you know, even though I'm supported by them, there's a reason why I choose to be supported by them and, uh, I will continue to. So good luck. Um, give the tire a check out. Uh, you can go on to Victoria.com. You can enter Project Northeast as a code, and you can get 20% off and free shipping. Have a good one.